subscribe. We talk in Miami, Hurricanes football, cause it's life. Yeah. I hey, scream if you rapping to you. Yeah. Hurricanes, what it do? What it do it be you if you rockin' with me. Straight to the house, that's another TD. We playin' football again. And we gon' take it with the win. That's another sack or another TD or another pick six again. Hurricanes, where you at? Stand up and let them know you in the building. With the bright lights, uniform tight, hit them so hard, they gon' feel it. Show them cover two, then blitz. Catch them on the blind side. If you ain't throwing up to you, then me, you on the wrong side. Like hut one, hut two, you know I'm switching up my count. If you stand in between my championship, then you gon' in on the ground. Welcome to Miami flow. Make sure you subscribe. We talk in Miami, Hurricanes football, cause it's life. Good evening. I have a different white boy on today. I'm just what kidding. Uh, John is on vacay. Shout to John. And uh, I asked one of our team members to come on with me. Um, Lex is a fool. Look at Lex, bro. One, two, three, four. He just said he was <laughs> broke like 20 minutes ago. He said he was broke. Lex is never broke. Shout out to Lex, the Miami Mayhem Show. Appreciate the dono. For you guys, when you donate, remember. We turn around and make NIL deals for the boys on the team. So when you donate, that's kind of where the money goes. Uh, we're going to talk about some NIL today. Appreciate the dono. Uh, shout out to everybody that's already in the chat rocking with us. Uh, shout out to our Discord, the Degenerate Squad. Uh, if you guys want to ever join our Discord, I have the ticker going off on the bottom. Uh, we may have a guest on today around 9-ish. Uh, if you know, when our guests or if our guest comes on at nine ish uh, and you do do a donation, I will wait for the guest to come off the show before I acknowledge it. So don't think that I didn't see it. I just want to show respect to the guest. Um, that way we're not cutting them off or whatever with his time or her time, you know, if it's a girl. But uh, Max, what up? We got some football coming Tuesday. Yeah. We got some football coming. I think I am so excited that we made it through another summer. This summer just felt longer than all the other summers. Mm -hmm. um, talk to me. Do shout out to the King. You guys, are, shout out to Kings Insight. They do a great job. Um, let's talk a little bit about this cookout, this barbecue, right? Um, everybody wants to know what was real, what's said, because now there's a bunch of lies being told everywhere. You know, everybody's an insider. We're not getting everybody. Auburn is the greatest, and uh, that's kind of how it's going down. Uh, what is what's your sense, like your personal sense, on how the weekend went from things that you heard or or, 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 or people you talked to? Like, you know, Sunday night, pretty much the quiet period, or the I don't know if I should call it the quiet period, but the dead period starts. I think tomorrow at eight p.m. Or, or tomorrow at sometime tomorrow evening or night it starts. So I think tomorrow day they can still talk to them, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I would like your thoughts on how things are going for you uh, since Friday or Thursday of last week. I don't think, you know, really anything's changed with me. I think it's just still the status quo. We had a lot of big, big time guys come on visits, which is always a positive thing. Right. Uh, but uh, no, nah, I'm, I'm just I'm I'm relaxing, as you would say. Relaxing. I like relaxing. Christopher says, well, do you have any insight on the Miami Herald article on Ruiz and the NIL state of Miami? Yes, I actually have pretty good insight. <laughs> um, and we're going to get into it uh, on the show. 100% we're going to talk some NIL. I just want to go over the barbecue first. Um, any surprises? Uh, you know, any people came that you didn't know were coming or didn't come or, you know, get good news, bad news, some news that you were hoping to get you didn't get? Like, what were your thoughts on the stuff you heard? I was surprised that Walker canceled his Georgia visit to come to Miami when he's from the state of Georgia. It would have been a lot easier for him to go over there. Uh, for those who don't know, he's a five-star kind of hybrid edge slash linebacker in the 25 class uh, out of Georgia. And I was surprised that he made it down. Uh, I thought he would have just gone to Georgia, which is what his plans were initially. Got it. Um, how, about, how about Pruitt showing up? No, it was big time. I, I, I that was gangster. I, I was gonna say, like, you know, you're right there. It's you're, you're out of Alabama. You're right there. They give you a, a committable offer. They show you all the love. 
and you bounce and come to the cookout. I thought, first of all, I was like, whew. I was really, because yeah, I'm little scared little of that offer. Here. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm scared of that offer. Full full disclosure. I, I'm a little scared of that offer, you know? And uh, I thought it, it kind of calmed me down a little bit. You know, it, I don't I don't think we're out of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think we're out of the battle. I, I know he's committed to us. He's showing love to us. But I think we're going to have to continue, like we're going to have to do with all the guys, right? But I think we have to continue to pound him with love and support and, and just – show him what we're going to be and what we what we're turning into and how bad we need him because i know a lot of people fear georgia that bama offer is still a bama offer mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you know what i'm saying and i think that that kid is unbelievable as far as talent goes right right some people think he's going to play safety some people think he's going to play uh, you know an outside linebacker who cares I don't care. Like, I just want him on the roster. I, I need on him. The field. I need him in the cycle, right? And and I was really, uh, I was really happy that he came to the cookout. Like, out of everything that happened at the cookout, I know I know people were really happy about Rudolph and another couple guys that they didn't get mentioned from what I heard publicly yet. They showed up. That's great, but they're committed somewhere else. We're trying to flip those dudes, right? You know, so keeping ours that we have already to me is a little more important than flipping somebody you know um that's on come on you know come on franklin like stuff you heard and you got to see some pictures some video of him what are your thoughts yeah i mean i'm i'm super excited he came down i think this is the fifth time he's been down since since january so it's always a positive for him to visit again uh, he did mention that he's kind of close to finishing out his recruitment or at least making a a decision for the time being as as these recruits do now it's never a final decision until they sign so uh you know it's always kind of good to be that last visit i think he mentioned it might be his last visit until he makes a decision so uh you know only good things with that in my opinion i thought it was important that he had two very important young ladies with him um, that too you know i thought that was important uh Man, he, he he looks like a specimen, you know. Yep. That that young man looks like like one of those. You know what I mean? He looks like one of those. Um, and then we, you know, then let's talk about. And then I'll ask get some people that. Uh, where was Patterson this weekend? He was at, I want to say Auburn Michigan. and Michigan. Michigan, or both? yeah. It might have been yeah. both, but yeah. It might it might have been both. It might have been both. I know Michigan. I thought was one of them. Yeah, uh, but I, I know he was also supposed to go to Auburn. I didn't know he was with him. Port Knox says, "Was his grandma with him?" From what I was told, his grandma was with him. Yes. Um, is it true that Jermaine Smith was at Florida State this weekend? Yeah, that's uh, public. Yep, he was there. Any Muhammad Flo? This is our topic. But who? Do these North Carolinians think they are? Honestly, call me crazy, but I want to beat UNC more than FSU this year. Look, I'll tell you something funny, Mohammed. First of all, appreciate the dono. Thank you so much. It's the one, it's the one, um, what do you call it? It is the one game that I'm traveling to this year. I might travel to one more. I just haven't made plans yet. But it's the one that I'm going to because I'm going to keep it full of buck with y'all. I don't think they're that good. Right. And I'm one of the people that I don't think FSU is is a, is a ten win team, and it has nothing to do with emotion. Like I hate on them or no, just my honest opinion. I don't see a ten win team in, in Florida State. I, think, I I do think they might get to eight. I, I do think that. And UNC to me, that offensive line is suspect. Suspect, and uh, I know they got a potential NFL guy there. But we had a potential NFL guy, and look what how he looked with no offensive line. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to be able to block for your quarterback to look nice. You know, so I, again, I could be one hundred percent wrong on this. This is just my opinion from what I see right now, currently. So I'm with you, bro. Like I don't. I still wish you'd be Florida State first oh, before UNC, but you know, you know, UNC's I, close second. Right. I, I'd like to uh, 
I think by the time we get to FSU, a lot of stuff has would have transpired already. Mm-hmm. You know, so we'll have a lot more data. Uh, I'm going to get our guest on right now. So let's pop him on right quick. There he is, folks. Look at this guy. What's up, man? Oh, uh, you know what, man? That time of year again, football's getting ready to start for everyone across the nation. NFL's already started, so um, we'll be ready next. How you feeling, man? How you feeling? Pretty good. Had surgery a few week, a week ago, and I'm um, just getting over that on my ankle. So, but I'll be okay. It's not life threatening, so I'll, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Yeah, you don't 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 turn into a Dion situation now. We got we need you healthy. <laughs> Can we walking around with them boots <laughs> anymore, man? Um, I'm not going to keep you on too long tonight because I know you are in recovery and you're relaxing. I just got a few questions for you because everyone asks me these questions all the time. And I'm like, man, if I can get Zo on and just ask him straight up, maybe he can give us some answers. My first mm-hmm. one is real, real easy. You are, you know, you've been in scouting and, and all the evaluation for, man, mm-hmm. years. Can you take us through what an Alonzo recruiting evaluation is like? You don't have to get real detailed. Just like when you when a kid pops on your radar, what what do you go through? What do you do? Well, you know what? It, you know, it starts by the position the player is, and there's always specifics for certain positions, size, speed, and you know, you have all those things. Once a guy meets the criteria for size and speed, or maybe he doesn't meet the criteria for size, but he's a good football player. You know, you go to the film, and, and you know what? The film is always – it's always going to come down to the film. Um, how good a football player are you, on, are you on film? There's a lot of guys that, unfortunately, in a pair of shorts with no shoulder pads look pretty good, but you put the pads on, that guy disappears. So you never want to stray too far away from the film. And the film – the film is basically your DNA as an athlete. It tells you everything I need to know about you as an athlete, uh, football player, how much the game means to you. Uh, you can see all that on film. So, you know, that, that's why the tape evaluation is always so important. You know, how does he play on film? And how often, just a follow-up question, how often when you like the tape, if you get a chance to go out and see him live, do you take it or do you rather bring him to you? Well, college is different to pro football. I don't get an opportunity to see many kids because that's up to our coaches to go out there and see the kids because they get to visit the schools and stuff. My only um, view of the kids, if we can get them on campus and they can come to our camps and stuff like that. And I don't think these kids understand how vital these camps are for them to get to. If I was a parent, and I wanted my son to get a look at, I got to get you to these camps. I got to get people seeing you because, um, you know, film is film is always the number one important thing, but also you don't see a lot of people sometimes because there's so much film. There's so many kids that guys get pushed by. You didn't see them or you didn't give them a good view because you didn't see them in person. You know, you always, before you give any kid a scholarship, you got to see him in person. You got to watch mm-hmm. the game tape. So, you know, it's very vital that these kids come to camps and perform. Now, there's, there's always the elite kids who come to camp and, you know, don't do much, but there's also for 90 something percent of the kids, they need to come to camp and perform and show teams no different than a combine. Um, you, you need to come to the combine, you need to work out, you need to. Stay you know, come there, show these 32 teams and the owners and the general managers and the head coaches what you're all about. I like it. Uh, Max, what you got for our man? I have a question about the players, not on our team specifically, but just in general. What do you what do you believe is the greatest challenge that athletes, specifically in football, face today in, in today's football? Uh, I, I would probably say themselves. Um <laughs> I, I, I would, yeah, I, I would probably say, you know, staying humble, mm-hmm. under, understanding why you're there, understanding what's important to you in your life. Um, you came to college for a purpose. You didn't come there to smoke, do drugs, fail out of school, 
um, hit women. You came there to get your education and play football. And that's the number one priority for you. So anything else deflects off of you when you've got that focus and vision of why you're there. So I always say the most important person is always going to be you. You have to overcome yourself sometimes. you got social media. You've got people in your ear. You've got family. There's so many things going on for these young kids is that it's very important that they understand and focus on the purpose and the reason why they're there because all these other plans mean nothing if you're not a if you're not being who you're supposed to be on the football field and working to become a good football player. None of that matters if you don't do your schoolwork, if you're getting in trouble off the field, you're doing all the things. None of that matters. I man but, spitting facts. It's just like we need to like we need to tape that and then like send it out to all the, all the parents. Real talk, um, I got for you. I know you got in uh, uh, pretty much. I think it was like May or June of last year, right around there when it was official. I don't know the exact date, mm-hmm. but so now you've been here pretty much a full year. What for yourself personally? What what's been the biggest challenge for you? Uh, understanding. Um the college game, you know, um, I work for a guy by the name of Ron Wolf, and he always said it takes you five good, even if you played the game, you know the game, you've been around it, it takes you about five years to become a good scout. And, um, you know, when I first got it, I was in the NFL for 20, for 24 years, but coming to college now is a total new thing. They're not the same. They're totally different. There's many aspects of it that are similar, but they're not the same. And you have to go about things differently in college as you would in pro football. So understanding the balance and understanding um, the lay of the land, um, understanding what other schools are recruiting. You know, I love to look at what Georgia's doing, what Michigan's doing. I keep a notebook of just the signees of of the teams that are in the playoffs. You you know what I mean? Right. Right. And and I like to see who they're signing. And, you know, whenever I, whenever I've got nothing to do at night, I'll just look at some kids that they signed and I'll look at some of our kids that we signed. And that gives me an idea of the type of athletes you need to play at a certain level. And um, I work with, I work with a good group of people. Um, I, I think, you know, in the beginning when I first got here last year, it's like we were all thrown in this thing together. Didn't know anybody. I didn't really know anybody on the staff. I had never, this was the first place in my life that I never really worked with anybody before at, on the mm-hmm. job. So I had to learn them. They had to learn me. Um, there's been trials and tribulations, no different than coaches, trials and tribulations in the personnel department. Because you're all learning. Um, you're learning a new way of doing things. Um, we're learning how each other works and what works best for this person. So, you know, I've got a really good group of young kids I work with in the um, personnel department. And, um, you know, we all work well together. Dennis Smith, you know, he helps run all the recruiting and stuff like that. And, you know, my I, I probably think my biggest goal at Miami is just, just to be a soundboard to, to um to help wherever I'm needed and you know and, and and that's how I approach the job. I I take great pride in watching film. Um I think in order to understand what you're looking at you have to watch everybody. Mm. So I, I take great pride in watching film. I, it's something I enjoy doing and and because regardless how you look at it I mean, forget all the bells and whistles. It's going to come down to good football players. And if you don't have good football players, you're not going to win. That's just the bottom line. And, um, you know, we've got to get better at Miami. We're heading up that right right tracks. I think Coach Cristobal's done a good, a really good job in creating the identity of who we want to be as a football team. I don't know anything about wins and losses. I've never gotten to a season set. Look at the schedule, pinpoint this game. I've I've never done that. I I know if I'm mentally and physically ready, everything else will take care of itself. I like that. I like that. I like that. all right. So this is the last thing before I get you out of here. I spoke to somebody that you know, 
And and I told him, I said, I think I might get Zoe on this Sunday if he's feeling up to it, da, da, da. He said, ask him about the Melvin Bratton story. And then I said, what is it? He told me the story. And I'll kind of paint it for you a little bit. And then tell me your thoughts on this story. You were the running back, right? Mm-hmm. You hurt your you hurt your rib, right? And then you, you you had to take some time off. I think it was, he said, like a week or, or a few practices off. So Melvin got to play the following weekend. He scored like four or five touchdowns. Oh, no, no. That was against um, – that was against um I got hurt the week before I was getting ready to go for a thousand yards that year. It's gonna be the mm-hmm. first Miami running back for a thousand yards in a long time. I had nine hundred and something yards. Well I hurt my knee against Louisville. I couldn't play the following week against um against um Boston College. And uh Melvin went in the game and he had uh, four touchdowns, 130 something yards receiving, 100 and something yards pass catching, <laughs> and I mean he blew it up. And, and, and all honesty, now Melvin was a better running back than me. He was a, I mean he was a naturally gifted kid. He was a na- he was a nine five hundred meters all time state record in hurdles and all that kind of stuff. I I had never played football until I went to college and. Um, I mean, running backs, I went to college. So I learned from Melvin a lot of the time. We would talk at night in the room about this move. He would tell me I got to do this. So I was always kind of like, okay. But I and I think I know where you're going with this. Because <laughs> he told me I was – I told him – he told me after that game, we were, you know, we were roommates now. We talked a lot of crap to each other. He, yep. said, he said, well, you know you ain't getting your position back. And I said, well, I don't know how. I'm not transferring schools, so that was uh, <laughs> that was our battle all the time amongst us. But it was a good battle. It's um, now I will say this: Melvin will tell you, Melvin will tell you this. I was a way better blocker for Melvin than he was for me. <laughs> Melvin, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat a little bit. The the way this this is, might be a little different story. The little bit I heard was he you hurt your rib. He played. He went off, and then the next week you were like you took a knee pad. And you taped it on. You taped it around on your rib to protect your rib. And you just said you were going to play the following week because you didn't want your spot taken. And, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, he did what? He's like, ask him. He'll tell you. He took a knee pad. You remember the old school knee pads, right? I was like, yeah. He yeah, said he taped it. He put it to the rib and taped it around his ribs. Yeah, I mean that was the culture. That was that's what we're trying to build here in Miami. Um, ultimate competition that. The game means to it means that much to you, and you're willing to fight that much to get in the game. You don't want to ever give up your position because that's what Jimmy Johnson was about. Jimmy Johnson and Mario will tell you this: you, you had to hold on to your spot every game. There was no guarantee you were going to start. Jimmy told us you there was no guarantees you're going to start. Your work ethic and your performance in games will determine how much you play. I mean that that's just how it was and and I think that's the only way you can be successful in football for to be a successful team there has to be competition um guys have to work with each other for each other and you always have to be willing to give more of yourself for the team you know and and if we can get those type of things we'll we'll be a better football team so first of all I want to say thank you for your time man I hope you feel better and you heal up Thanks for coming on and blessing us with some knowledge. Uh, we all we're all real grateful that you're here, and uh, just thanks, bro. I appreciate your time, man. Thank you. Okay, take care. Have a good Later. one, big dog. All right, bye. I'm telling you, man, we in good hands, dog. We in good hands. I mean, again, anytime y'all have some doubt or you're listening to Twitter or all that stuff, go listen to what he just said, bro. You know, hey, film. You know, humbleness, working hard. Somebody behind you is trying to get your job. Like, I don't know, man. I, 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 I just sorry. Feel I'm, just, I'm just dying <laughs> right now. I, I, I just, I knew, um, I knew when when you told me that Zoe was gonna be on the show. Yeah. Um, that it would it would be great for me to to have the flow tracker live on my other monitor during the show to see when Zoe came on, what would happen. And they're going bananas on there right now. I don't so, even know what that is, to be honest with you. The flow track. <laughs> yeah, but what, how are they going bananas? They're just going crazy. Like, 
it's just hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, tell him I said hello. Um, Lex threw it 150, <laughs> another 150, and he said 15 and O's. Oh, <laughs> and then we had another one. Oh, to go there, you go 27 Kane says, Yes, sir, is in the house. 50 dollars donut for the boys. Um, I told you I'd get him right when the man. I just want to respect his time. I knew, I just knew that he was, you know, I didn't know if he was 100. percent So I, I, I was really appreciative for his time. Uh, he's he's home team right there. Okay, yes, sir, that's home team right there. You know, at the end of the day, and uh, I know I know something named home team. Yes, I know you do. But I, I'm very. Uh, I just want you guys to know, like, a lot of you guys in our Discord. You know, you're always like, Flo, why are you so calm? Why, you know, why don't you, you know, we didn't get this guy, man. bro? Because I know who's our leadership. I know who is our leadership. Like, I know we're in good hands. Are we gonna lose some recruiting battles? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Are we going to have growing pains in adversity? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. But I will bet on Zoe and Mario all day long. All day long. All right. Let's get back to the barbecue right quick before we get into the NIL stuff. Yep. Um, you know, I think when I left off, uh, we we're talking about a certain guy that did not come. Uh, he recently decommitted from Georgia. There was a lot of smoke, I'll say, um, about he might come to Miami. He's flipping to Miami. He's coming to Miami to barbecue. Or is he going to UCF? Or is he going to – I think Auburn's involved also. Uh, other teams are involved. What do you? What is your take on the, the young man that didn't come here? Do, do, you, do you think it was his decision? Do you think it was uh, maybe he'll come at a different date? Or do you think he was just, you know – Maybe Miami's moving in another direction. What are your thoughts on him? Uh, I mean, this isn't based off information or anything like that. I just have a feeling that Miami might be moving in a different direction. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just that's just pure speculation. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like old school recruiting. I know this new school recruiting. You got to flip a coin, right? Yeah. <laughs> but but old school recruiting is you know you follow the visits. You follow the visits, you follow the important dates, you know, what do they mean? Because remember, we're going to go into a dead period or quiet period, whatever they call it, starting tomorrow evening. I think it's tomorrow evening. I keep saying that. I think there's like a certain time tomorrow evening that you can't talk to the players no more. Not 100%, but it's like either tomorrow night or at midnight or 8, something like that. And when he is kind of rumored to maybe flip to Miami and he doesn't even come to the cookout, I don't know what to think either, you know. Right. And for me, it, it just seems like maybe, uh, you know, it's a mutual thing. I, I don't know, you know. I'm just saying. But what do you think about Rudolph popping up on on campus? I thought it was interesting because uh -huh. for a lot of people that don't know, I don't know if they've updated it yet. I can check, but he transferred to Deerfield, so he was a local kid, right? And then he transferred out to Cincinnati back to ohio so yep. yeah he they're still listing him as deerfield which is incorrect um so i thought that was really really interesting because he's not local anymore if he was local it would have made a ton of sense a ton mm -hmm. but the fact that he's now in ohio and he came on his own dime to visit that 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 intrigued me a little bit yes um i would say that i think there's something to that i don't i mean clearly the kid comes you know blah 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 and you know a lot of people and I think it was reported today because I saw the screenshots in our Discord, thought that before he committed to, I think it's Michigan where he's committed to, um, people thought Miami might get the, the commit. Like a lot of people that were in the know thought there was a, a chance that he that Miami might get the commit. And, and for me, I'm a, I was surprised. You know, I was surprised. We got wind of it. I don't know when was it, Wednesday-ish? I think we got wind of it that he might be feeling froggy this weekend and coming up. But for him to make the trip and come on campus and whatever else happened, right, and whoever else was there, I thought I think says that, you know, I would just monitor that 100%. Like, that's not a, oh, he came, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, I would monitor that because it felt a certain way. He commits to right. Michigan. Time goes by, and he comes back, you know. Um, Lowe McCoy, 
Thoughts? That's another one where I'm like, <laughs> I'm like in a similar boat with Jalen Hayward. Um, I, I just, I feel like if it doesn't happen soon, the staff might just move on. Um, right. because it's been rumored that he may decommit and flip for months now, uh, and nothing's happened yet. So I personally watched a, a very similar recruitment last cycle mm -hmm. with a specific South Florida wide receiver who was supposed to decommit and potentially flip, and it never happened. And I don't know if our staff is willing to play that same game again. So I would anticipate if it's going to happen, it needs to happen very, very soon. Yeah. I, I think that Miami definitely wants him in the class. Right. And I'm just not sure Miami holds a spot for him if they get other guys that they're on. You know, there's a few guys that Miami will get, have a spot for regardless. Right. We don't need to name the Wingos and the, and the Smiths. Right. We don't need to. We need to. We don't need to name those. Yeah, well, Smith's going to Florida State apparently now. So. Yeah, he's going to, of course, you know. Um, but here's something I'm going to caution everybody before we talk a little more recruiting and we'll get into out. This is about the time of year where all the lies start, where the players go take other visits because they want to take other visits, and then they say nice things about their visit so the school they're committed to is losing their mind. For example, in reverse, look at all the stuff we're talking about Rudolph. And he's committed to Michigan. Mm -hmm. You understand? But, but that's all it is right now, right? So if JoJo or 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 anybody or other commits, Pruitt, whatever, then they go take their visits. There, listen. There is a chance they could flip, guys. This is a new age of recruiting. This is so different than it's ever been, right? It's it's more nowadays. You know, it's very difficult not to get a kid to think at least about flipping because of all the resources that are offered to them. And y'all can read between the lines on that. So, but just stand pat because I think it, it, it's twofold. We may lose a few, but I think we gain a few also. Mm -hmm. Right. So just, you're going to probably see a lot of stuff in, in, in the, in the Twitter or what is it called? X X. Yeah. Uh, everyone's freaking out now because apparently uh chance Robinson finally got offered by Ohio state. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I think that everyone's going to listen. All this is going to happen a lot. And I, and I think it happens a lot in the next 45 days. After that, I think it's like, eh, you'll see it yeah, here and there. The season starts. You'll see it here and there. Right. But I think you will see that. But I don't know, man. I, for me, it's, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it. Understand we will lose a couple, a few, but we're going to gain a few. At the same time, don't fall in love with any recruit right now because you don't know how it's going to end up. And that's just my honest opinion, man. Like the stuff I've been hearing in, in, in recent and recently is like teams are throwing stuff at these young men. Like It's pretty it's pretty obvious, too. And it's so blatant. It's so blunt. It's so like we're not hiding it. Like, you know, it's like. They did what? And, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and call out any schools, Auburn, you know, because I don't take shots. At, I, don't take, do I don't take shots at schools, Auburn, you know. And I'll just say, if y'all think Auburn is just out recruiting everybody, y'all been drinking while you're watching the show. I got beachfront property to sell you in Iowa. <laughs> All I hear is, you freeze the beast on the trail. I'm like, what? What'd you say? You freeze a beast on the trail. That's what I've been getting. I'm like, listen, you give me that bag. You give me that bag. And I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna do so bad on the trail myself, you know. Now, is you freeze gonna do good? Look, we we talked about Auburn being the surprise of the SEC. We thought right, like, bro, back in March, we were talking about this. That's the school we picked. Yeah, I mean, I know I picked it with John. We were like, I think Auburn and the SEC is going to be the surprise this year, you know? Now, surprise means they're going to win the SEC? No. But I think they're going to mess up some people's season here and there, you know, because they're going to play a certain way. Um, listen, at the end of the day, all I'm saying, guys, is try your best not to attach emotions to the players and don't 
believe all the stuff that's all over Twitter or X. I'm just gonna call it Twitter, bro, because I don't know what to call it. Twitter. I really, I, I, yeah, I don't know what to call it. I'll talk about Mincy real quick because everybody keeps asking me. That's Rasta's boy, by the way. Shout out to Rasta. Rasta's got 650 TVs in his house now. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to go buy another one tomorrow. He said he needs TVs everywhere, bro. So shout out to Rasta. First of all, Rasta been killing it with the edits. I just want to make sure I'm clear. That man is on that 25 cycle like, like nobody else putting in that work. So shout out to Rasta edits. He's killing it. Um, He loves him. And, and I think Mincy is a 100% priority you should get him i think as a safety he's going to be stars that safety he's going to be a player what are your thoughts on mincy where do you like him do you what do you think we are in the cycle with him i don't i don't like him at a specific spot i just like the fact that he's versatile uh you can play him all over the place which is what I, what i like the most about him honestly is he he's kind of like a swiss army knife like a Jaden harris that can play all over the place and i think those types of players are super valuable in uh in today's game i love him at safety i know some people like him at corner and safety i think i, I think he could be a great safety you know right next to uh isaiah thomas and patterson well we don't have patterson my bad I shouldn't no say he's that. going to auburn now remember yes. my bad my bad my bad i shouldn't say that uh did cummings come to the cookout yeah he came back he came back uh i was told he was there um, i i didn't go to the cookout I, 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 just by word of mouth I heard he was there, uh, so that's a good sign. I listen, and I'm gonna say it again because I found out that somebody has they have him as a three star, right? <laughs> I didn't know they had him as a three star because y'all know I don't look at the rankings, bro. Go look at this man's tape, and we're gonna do something interesting. Not the sun, not the Sunday come, but the next Sunday on the show, we're gonna have a little fun with you guys. So don't miss that show. I, I'll definitely hype it up a little bit because we're gonna do a little. We're gonna interact with the chat where I'm gonna play. A huddle like five or six plays of a huddle but i'm not going to tell you who the player is and i'm not going to tell you what he's ranked and i'm going to play another player same position his huddle do the same thing and then you guys got to give him what stars they gave those players so so you, we're going to see how well you guys match up with the you, the so-called experts you're going to be able to do that with the technology and everything listen bro i know this dude named max you know what i mean and all I got to do is to say, Max, I need these clips ready. Make sure they can't see the names. And let's see if he, uh, you know, if, the, if, if people, I think, you guys, <laughs> I, think I, some, I think some of the three stars are going to have better tape than some of these high four stars. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm just going to throw it out there. We'll have some fun. Well, you know, we'll, we'll have some fun. Um, any questions about the um, barbecue? And I want y'all to think about a question because we're going to take a little break real quick. Attention Miami sports fans. Level up your game day style with About the Fans. They've got the freshest Miami sports gear curated in collaboration with the Miami Flow brand and renowned artist Jazz. Unleash your passion for Miami sports at aboutthefans.com and be part of the innovative Miami sports community. About the Fans, where fashion meets fandom. where fashion meets fandom real quick on that please go support ab does a great job and about the fans uh we have new stuff coming out and, yes we uh, do and it's gonna be coming out in the next week we might make an announcement next sunday if not the sunday after and uh all i'm gonna say is just remember boom squad just remember the boom squad we got some boom squad stuff coming and i think uh you know like what are you gonna say I saw you about to say something. Nah, the Boom Squad, man. The Boom Squad is coming. That's all I'm gonna tell y'all right now. The Boom Squad is coming. Um, so any questions? Let's see. Surprise visitor. Let me see. Oh, man, super says surprise visitor. Even to you that showed up, what the level of success in your opinion from this past weekend goes? That's a really good question. And here's what I'll say, but. I, Actually, I'm going to let Max first, and then I'm going to answer after Max, because I don't want to steer him. Uh, was there a surprise visitor even to me that showed up? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know Elias Rudolph was going to be there. Flo doesn't tell me anything, so um, I didn't know he would be there. And what's the level of success in your opinion from this past weekend? Uh, I think it's going to it's gonna be good. 
Um, I think we're going to get a couple guys that were at the visit this weekend to commit at some point. Uh, but like Flo says, timelines are terrible, so I, I couldn't tell you when. But I think a couple guys that, that were on campus this weekend may end up committing to Miami at some point. Yeah. Um, surprise. Um, some of the 25 guys, like Walker. Yeah. That, that, that was a, that, that one, that surprised me uh, that he actually showed up. You know, that was a big one, I thought. Um, as far as level success, I'm going to say the same thing I said the last Sunday and the Sunday before when it was like three and a half. Over and under three and a half, I think two more by the by mid August is what I'm comfortable saying. Two more by mid August. Now, could it be three or four? Yeah, I mean, I don't know when these kids are gonna pop, but I I, I still my opinion, what my take on things is, I think we get two more by middle August. You know, I'm hoping, and and, and I think we will. And uh, there are a couple guys in late August that are going to be announcing. And I think some of those could go either way, to be honest. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. But so I think it went how it was supposed to. Getting Kamar and Franklin on with, with Grandma and his girl was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. And for me, you know, uh, I'm a big Chris Cummings fan. Like his tape is ridiculous. And I know he's another three-star flow. I get it. I know y'all go crazy with those that with those ranking things, but that tape, bro, that tape is is something. You know, that tape is something. Hold on, let me get this. All right, Big Mac, extra cheese. I see you, boy. What it do? What up, dude? Where'd he go? All right, here. Everyone says Chris Cole's going to Georgia. Is Chris Cole going to Georgia, Max? It's possible. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna say that. I don't know where he verbally commits, but I think he ends up in our class. That's my take. I don't know where he verbally commits. I don't. He might verbally commit to us, Georgia, and there's another school that's floating around too. Um, but I, I, I think he ends up in our class. I think it's one of the ones that Mario is not going to let go. You know, um, I got no, I got no inside information on on that one. That's just a hunch. That I have, you know, trying to piece things together, you know, little breadcrumbs here and there. Uh, Flow, any hypothetical news on new conference? Uh, yeah. Uh, not to sound like funny again, but same stuff I was telling y'all in January, February, when everyone said I was crazy that there's going to be any conference stuff happening in 2023. And already, They've changed the way they're going to distribute the money in the ACC, trying to keep people happy. Right. <laughs> um, now you guys are seeing all the rumors, right? Uh, do, hypothetical, meaning like my best guess. I, I don't know where we go. I, I know everyone thinks Big Ten because we fit the Big Ten and all the, the, the qualifications. Up. I just I just know that we can't stand Pat, and I don't think we will stand Pat with the way things are currently. You know, that's the only thing that I – I feel good about saying there's a lot of stuff being thrown out there right now behind the scenes from people that know. And if you talk to a coach that know, they don't match up. The only thing that matches up with their stories is we ain't staying packed. You know, so I don't know who to believe. That's not that's above my pay pay grade. I just know that movement is happening. I just don't I don't know where. I don't know where we're going. I don't know how it's gonna happen. But Miami, you know, you knew, come on. Max, you knew this for sure. Yep. You knew when we hand, when we when we hired Radakovich. It was done. It was done. He's a straight killer. You know, I know some of y'all don't like his baseball hire. I get it. I don't know nothing about baseball. Actually, no, I know a lot about baseball now. I'm a baseball aficionado. Okay. No joden conmigo con el mejor. Porque yo sé mucho de baseball. Okay. Uh, baseball. Let's 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 pivot to NIL real quick. We have about 475 people live chilling with us. Shout out to y'all and hanging out with us on Sunday. Please hit the like button, please. And hit and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you came on late, watch the rewatch. We had Zoe on dropping nothing but knowledge today. Yes, that Zo. Um so there was an article and then a bunch of articles. Dropped one, 
and then everybody and then there was like five ones that dropped after that about uh mr john ruiz what's your take what do you think is going on uh how, how do you feel about the situation i feel great uh a lot of people are panicked and stuff like that but from everything that i've been told and i've heard he hasn't really been the main guy involved in quite some time uh it's been transitioned over to kane's connection and i think we have 75 of the 85 scholarship players already signed uh and the goal is to have all of them signed the whole basketball team uh is signed minus one player and that's because he has a eight hundred thousand dollar deal with ruiz himself with life wallet uh, so <laughs> the fact that people are worried to me is 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 kind of funny because it just shows me that they haven't been paying attention to what kane's connection has been doing i want to start off with shout out to the kane's connection uh big big shout out big shout out there's some there's some there's some killers in there now i i'm not I, I don't know what's true and what's not true about what's going on with john Ruiz. So i want to make sure i say that right off the bat and until he comes out and talks or we we get some facts I'm, i don't want to assume anything because i think it's it's not smart i can tell you what i do know about nil being that we are part of the nil right is that the Kane's connection is diesel and I'll just drop this little nugget on y'all. Some of y'all already knew, know this because I said it in Discord. Or if you did your homework, you would know this. The guys that brought over the, the baddest player on the planet, Messi, are part of the Kings connection. Bro, you can't. There's nobody going to get Messi. Come here. He, he's not. Oh, he's played and scored a bunch of goals already. Well, the guys that brought him over. Are part of the Kings connection. They just don't want the smoke. They don't want the light. Yep. They just want to do what they're doing and run a business and be successful and cheer for the Kings and and they just don't want the smoke. They don't they don't want all that light and that's okay. We don't need them to have the light. But I'm just sharing with y'all that we're in really really good hands. And I mean there's more. There's many more. I'm just throwing that out there, okay? Um we're in really good hands. There's no issues in Miami with NIL. All you have to do is ask the players. Don't listen to the reporter. Don't listen to the YouTuber like me. Don't listen. To... You got deals? Yes. You getting paid on time? Yes. Good. Moving on. You know, and then, you know, I mean, and we have players getting deals all over the place. Y'all know Cam, right? Cam was with us. But Cam has got deals. Before. I saw him with The Rock doing something with a drink. You know what I mean, and and there's more stuff coming for Cam. That that's for Cam to 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 share. That's not for me to share. Um, so listen, I'm telling y'all, honest to God, the Kane's connection is diesel, and we're in good hands now. Can I predict the future? No, but currently we're in really good standings. We have no issues with nil. So. I wanted to make sure I came on it because I saw that. And then, of course, the whole country takes shots of, at us that because they thought Ruiz was our whole NIL department. Right. Right. And I wish Ruiz nothing but great success. And I hope all this stuff gets behind him and he's successful. You know, that man really helped us out a lot. And he should take some credit for that. You know, that's just my opinion on that. Um, let's see matthew says they didn't want to super overpay like current owner did what were we talking about oh the mod brothers maybe i don't know i caught that i was trying to get back and get some people's take real quick oh uh, here we go royal says how do you feel about us getting patterson i feel um one to ten ten being we get him for sure one we don't i feel an eight that he ends up with us again all this verbal stuff between now and like middle of october i don't listen to it even if they come into us just so you guys know even if they come in i don't that's if they come into us great i do a little celebration that's awesome hope we keep them i pay more attention to recruiting and commits once we start getting into november and if you've been in recruiting for a while 
and you see the way the trends are going with decommitments and and, and people you, you should start you, or you're gonna be an emotional wreck mm-hmm. you know so whatever Twitter says think the opposite for now <laughs> it's gonna go crazy right uh your thoughts on this real quick Max Jaquan yes no, I feel good about Zaquan. I think he's really close with uh, a lot of the players on our current roster and in the recruiting class. So I think that bodes well for us. Flo, any updates on Dwight Stone? You mean David Stone? Go, Ken. You talking about David Stone? I, I think you were talking about David Stone. Um, I do. I, I don't think we're in first in that. Um, I think that we're in it, but we got a lot of work to do. Uh, that's a recruitment, in my opinion, that we're gonna have to check every box to be in it at the end. Meaning, continue to recruit them real well, show that we can develop defensive line, and also have a positive record. Uh, I think if we check those three boxes, uh, it, 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 it might be okay for us as far as to be there at the end. I, I don't know if we get him at the end because I don't know uh, how much the bags are going to be for someone like him. And I'm, and I'm speaking just straight up with y'all. Like, I, I don't know what the bag is going to be for someone like him. He's one of the top three, top four, depending on who you ask, right. three linemen in the country. And he is, he, Oklahoma's been on him like white on rice from day one. You know, so I, I don't know. Uh, that's the truth. Um, what I will say is if we check those three boxes, and, um, I, I do think we we could steal. We might be able to steal at the end because yeah, it would be a steal, in my opinion. Let's see. Everyone's talking about stream song. Yeah, everyone's talking about stream song Breland and Breland. Yeah, Breland. Listen, I wouldn't. Now Breland, I feel better about. I will say that. Yeah, that's me. Oh, that's you. What am I doing? Let me get you off there. I do feel better about Breland. Meaning, like a lot of people put a lot of stock in him not coming. He was in full communication with Miami. Uh, he didn't. He didn't do anything shady, you know. Uh, that I mean, we're gonna have to fight with him, you know, to to get him. He's not one that I would say, you know, I feel like, oh, we're getting him. He's one that I like. We're in a good spot, you know. We're definitely in a good spot, but that's another one that we have to continue to plug. And I've and I've been on record and I said, I think there's only one Breland in this cycle. As far as that size and what he can bring to the table, I agree. So, what do you, do? What do you, how do you feel about Breland? Do you feel better about Breland than Stone, or do you feel better than Stone, or about even? I feel better about Breland than I do about Stone, uh, and I, I actually, for some reason, I feel better about Breland not visiting this weekend mm. anywhere than I would have if he visited both. Right. Right. Right, I just, right. I just, I just don't trust Jimbo. Look, I, I, I'm, I just don't, I don't want to start no craziness. I'll just say that, again, try your best not to believe too much of the stuff out there. Young men are very rarely going to talk bad about a program or a visit. Rarely does it happen. I mean, rarely. They're usually going to say nice things. You know, what are they going to say? I felt my home there. The, the teammates were good. I, I could see myself in the scheme here. Like, and people take that as a flip or a commit. You know, and some of these top guys, these blue chip guys, are going to get recruited all the way to the end. Like, we had Lightfoot uh, uh, at, the, at the cookout, and he still hears from USC and, and uh, Ohio, State. Ohio State. He said on a regular, because guess what? He's one of the baddest cats on the planet at his position. Those dudes are going to get recruited just like we're recruiting to the end guys that verbally committed somewhere else so don't get too caught up i'm going to say it again guys if a guy says miami in august or september or they say auburn or ohio state don't get too caught up on that i wouldn't get the high too high or too low me personally i the way things are trending and recruiting right now if i'm reading the tea leaves the way i think i'm reading them i'd stay patient and I would just wait until we put a product on the field to see if we got a little more pop to what we're saying or we're not playing that well. Like everyone has said it. Every single person, you just got to win. You just got to win. I think winning is definitely 
one of the most important things this year. Yeah. But optics are more important. And, and I know people are like, Flo, what do you mean? You could go, you can go eight and four and get and have and get blown out two of your losses, and that eight and four don't look too sexy. You can go eight and four, right? With one that you might have lost by two or three touchdowns, and the other ones were within a score, and that looks different. That eight and four, you understand? Like I don't want to get stuck on an eight and four. A lot of people are saying eight and four, eight and four this year, and. On paper, it looks like eight and four should be very attainable for us. But what does it look like? Are we scoring points? Does the offense look like it's moving? Does that defense look like it's an attacking defense? Is Mario better on game day with making game day decisions, right? How's the culture after we just got beat? How did, how did we show up the next game? What for you, Max? What is the the if you had two points to make for recruiting in December, what would what what has to happen for recruiting in December to be very successful for Max? Uh, I mean, we got to take care of business on the field, whether it's just looking better or, or you know, solidifying a ton, a ton of wins. That's number one. And number two is Coach Coach Mario, you know, just got to keep doing his thing. He's he's a master recruiter. That's what he's known for. Um, just just let him do his job. That's that's it. And, and Ledzo, as we just, you know, spoke to him, you know, which was awesome. Let him continue to evaluate. You know, people get so up in arms about offers that cut, that are trickling in here and there uh, this late in the cycle, which it's not even late in the cycle, um, saying, "Oh, we're just like we're we're just going to the next guy because we whiffed on somebody else, or we're we're pivoting and we're pivoting." No, evaluation never stops. That's just the nature of the uh, of sports. You never stop evaluating. Right. So just because we found, you know, somebody and gave him an offer now doesn't mean he's not better or worse or, or just as good as somebody else. He could he he's whatever the staff thinks he is. He could be way better than some of the guys we've offered previously from a team mm. perspective. So just just let them work. I like it. Sterling Williams says, which player will benefit most from the changes on offense? Max? Was that player what, singular? Um, yeah. Which player will benefit the most? I mean, I'm just going to go with the easy one, Tyler, right. Tyler Van Dyke. I, I, I think it'll be – I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat because uh, you you gave you took my answer, but I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to say the wide receiver position. Okay. You know, I'm going to cheat. I know he didn't ask that, but I'm just cheating a little bit because you took my answer. I think TVD is going to be a different dude. You know, uh, but I'm, I'm going to say, since you said TVD, I'm going to say the wide receiver position is going to benefit the most. New King God says, Chance just GIF offer from Ohio State. How do you feel about this? Max, how do you feel about Ohio State offering Chance and him putting the GIF up? Welcome to uh, <laughs> recruiting. I mean, what is there? what is there to say? I mean, this is just par for the course. You know, Cameron Pruitt got a BAM offer this week. Um, we offered players that are committed to the other schools. Mm -hmm. That's just welcome to recruiting. Welcome. I, Enjoy I think, your stay. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I mean, I think he's that good. Right. I mean, I. Isn't that, isn't that like a good thing? Because it's, it's, uh, it's telling you that our, our evaluations were, were correct. Yeah. Uh, I'm just keeping it a bug. Like, I think he's going to get more offers. <laughs> like, right. You know, how do I feel about it? I, I never like when a good school offers any of our players. Never. Of course right. I don't want that. You know, like when Pruitt just got that committable offer to Alabama, I was like, no, go away, dog. Shoot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, get out of here. But until Chance and, and his father say that they're decommitting from Miami and going to Ohio State, I have to think sure. that they're stick, they're keeping their word. I mean, you know, but we just talked about it like 10 minutes ago. I do think there will be a couple of decommits, and I do think we will steal. I told you, I think we're going to get three flips, and I feel really good about that. You know, um, we'll see. Let's see how it plays out. You know, let's see how it plays out. 
I don't ever like when a good program offers any of our young men. And and I'm just gonna keep that a buck. But I can't I can't get emotional about it. Like I wanna I get weird with recruiting where I start getting a little antsy right after Thanksgiving. That's when because then you have enough data. You know, if you're doing your work every day and you're grinding, trying to, you know, find out what's going on or whatnot, you have a lot of data and, and you still get surprised. Like, I never saw what happened with Kamani last year coming. We all, caught, I told y'all he was going to commit, my, he was Miami. And when he said Miami, everybody lost their mind, right? But I didn't know until what, what was it like four days, three days before commitment that he had that, that sign, he had, he was signed with that, uh, What's it TV called? Deal. TV deal, but that's what it's called a stream. What do you call that? I don't know what it's called. Uh, I didn't know he had a show. We'll just call it a show. I didn't know yeah. he was signed with them, and then which was Dion. I didn't know that until three days before he's come in. I was like, oh my god, this is no bueno. I didn't know, you know. So stuff is gonna definitely. What's the word? Things. Things are. Here's the here's the line you guys hate the most. Five hundred of y'all. Recruiting is here. fluid. Recruiting, Recruiting is fluid. <laughs> I, I'm gonna reword it though. Ready? I'm gonna start saying this. Recruiting is like the weather. It changes every day. You know, that's gonna be my new line, because it's real, dog. It's not. It's like, do I think we're building real relationships? Yeah, but the carrot that is being put out there now for these players is a little different than the carrot that was put out to these players three, four, five years ago. It's yeah. a little different. So I have to be honest. I can't. I used to be like, I'm 100% on this one. We're, this is going to happen for sure. Now I'm like, I think this is going to happen. But I, I'm not even surprised anymore when it don't happen. You know, and, and I don't want to come out here and tell y'all that I don't want to lie to y'all and blow smoke and be like, this is all going to happen. Do I think we're going to have a good class? Absolutely. Do I like how we're recruiting? Absolutely. But do I think other programs that don't recruit as good as us are going to throw more money at certain players than we are? Absolutely. Do I think I know how those players are going to react with that? I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, Max, ready? I'm recruiting you to come to Miami, mm -hmm. right? And your position, we're not, we're just going to give you a position. We're going to say your position, your evaluation is you're about a hundred thousand dollar guy, right? And you like Miami, but you're not tied to Miami. You live in South Carolina. You live in South Carolina. Hey, why are you guys put me up in South Carolina, man? With Wingo. <laughs> well, shout out to Wingo. So you're, 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 no, but play with me for a second. Ready? So we're like, yes, we can get you an NIL deal. We feel good. A hundred thousand. Boom, boom. And you're like, cool. I like Miami. You like the coach, whatever. And then there's, we'll just use a random school, Auburn. And Auburn has a pretty good coach. Maybe not as good as Miami. You have a little bit better relationship with Miami, right? But Auburn's are up and coming. They're in the SEC. And Auburn goes, look, we're, we're rebuilding as well, but we're in the SEC. And we think you're a $200,000 guy, right? And Miami's like, hey, look, we gave you the best offer. You're you're a hundred thousand high, but we'll go up to one twenty five. But we're not gonna. We can't go to two hundred because that's not. We don't want to lie to you. We can definitely give you one twenty five. And you live with your mom in a in a you know whatever. I don't want to make up a situation. We'll just say not in the best situation. Mm -hmm. What do you do? You know, what do you do, Max? Cause this is real. This is really happening. Like this stuff is for real happening behind the scenes. So where do you go? I think in that situation, <laughs> two not, good programs. Yeah, not having the means, I would right. I would probably take two hundred and go to right. Auburn. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Y'all, I'm gonna drop some knowledge on y'all. I think I dropped it the other day, unless I said it in the Discord. I might have said it in the, our Discord. Shout out to the Discord. Join our Discord. L links on the bottom. So, watch what happens. Here's what they say: We'll give you 200. Just come here for two years, and if you don't like what we're doing, you can always transfer out. And you still got the 200. You understand? And there's a certain school that's in our state that I'm not going to name which school it is. Hold on, 
want to so bad. I'll do it. That's no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, don't do it, dog. That's doing that. They're they're paying a little more for their class, and they're like, just give us two years. You don't have to commit to us for four years. Just give us two years, and if you don't like what we're doing in two years, you still got your money, and you can transfer anywhere you want to transfer. That's tough to argue against when you can't. You're not gonna lie like that to a like. You know what I mean? Our, one thing you've seen about Martin, you see it in the ACC uh, media day. You've seen it in his press conference. I think tomorrow's media day with our school, so you're gonna get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of knowledge tomorrow. Hopefully. I heard it's media day tomorrow. Let's see if it is. Um, he's just straight up. He's straight up. Because the culture is important. Anyways. Go where Ross is sit. Where's Ross at? I'll drop that raggedy. That's <laughs> cool. Hey, Ross, I told you, boy. I told him you have like 650 TVs right now. All uh, right. We're going to stay on for like. Two more minutes, guys. Uh, answer some questions. Again, hopefully, you like the show. You know what I mean. Today, uh, we had uh, one of the legends, one of the G's, one of the leaders of our ship. We had Zoe on earlier. Can I can I read you an excerpt from the from the Canes tracker while we wait for a question? Sure. Why, why not? Let's have fun with it. Some dude said, "I'll, I'll leave his name out." I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. Not gonna lie, I had to check myself a while ago because I had dislike for dude for no real reason, referring to you. I kinda wanna blame it on this board, but then I started watching him for myself and dude is solid and earned my respect. Real humble dude with legit info. Oh, that was nice of him. I heard that I get crushed on that board. Yeah, he said he hated you for no reason. <laughs> Bro, listen, you know, if you guys didn't know the story, you're gonna laugh. I have been while recruiting for a long time, whatever. And then COVID came up and I started watching YouTube videos. I was like, I'll start a YouTube channel. I didn't know anything about what I was doing. And then it just turned into what it's turned into now and I had fun. But what they don't tell you when you start doing this is people come for your head, dog. <laughs> like people I've never met or whatever, I'll say something that they didn't like or they didn't agree with and they come for your soul. <laughs> like they come like, and I was like, wow, man. So for you guys that are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, let me just tell you this. Make sure you have alligator skin. Tell the truth, <laughs> you know, and understand that some sometimes they come for you, you know, at the end of the day. Um, shout out to him. Uh, Jay says, Flo answered my question all, all the time with any answer. Oh, cool. Appreciate that. All right. Only people that don't like Flo are the ones that, do not know anything about him. Well, that was really nice. Appreciate you. All right, here we go. Anthony, what it do? Flo, by chance, were there any big time quarterback recruits from the 2025 at the barbecue? Yes, there was. I don't know if they were reported, to be honest, because I didn't, I don't, I need to fuck, I, I need to find a way to see what's see reported. Because here's what happens. Reported. In our Discord, they're always putting the screenshots of all the stuff that's reported, and that's kind of how I know when it's reported. Uh, I, I don't even run our, our, our Twitter. I'll go on our own Twitter probably like once or twice a week. I'm not going to lie to you. No, and I'm a, no, and, no big time, like four or five okay. star guys. And, and, and full disclosure, I'm addicted to the funny videos on Twitter. Like I, 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 I'm a follower or subscriber. I don't know what you call it. To these dudes that just pop on these funny videos man and i love it it's pretty it's really funny like i ain't gonna lie uh chris graves transferred to Ole Miss. yeah it looks that way did he, did he make it official i'm looking at yeah i think that's where yeah. he's going yeah he did yeah he yeah, just made it official yeah yeah i george says i thought franklin would have commit by today um, a lot of people did, to be honest with you, dog. Everyone thought Franklin was gonna commit this weekend. A lot, I mean, you you looked anywhere, they thought for sure a hundred. But I'll tell you this, he's a big time guy, bro. And and having getting him with his grandma and his girl is huge. It's mm -hmm. huge, you know, it's huge. Bam Stewart, Carroll City football going to shock all of Florida this season. Let me repeat that one more time. Just one more time for the crew. Carroll City football is going to shock 
all of Florida this season. I don't know if we're there yet with Carroll City. You know, for y'all that don't know, Miramar and Carroll City is where I grew up. Uh, I went to American, just for the record, but I'm CC all day, you know, and, and Miramar Patriots all day, just letting y'all know that. So you had to look at that. I had to look at that. He won't be committing till August. Yes. Well, it's August. <laughs> it's it'll be August. It's almost August, right? Uh, hey, so listen up. Thank you guys for rocking with us, man. Shout out to the K's Insight one more time. Them boys do a good job. And I appreciate all y'all for rocking with us, man. Max for filling in. And as always, uh, I hope John is enjoying his vacation. And uh, thanks to Zoe for joining us today and dropping that knowledge. Just want to make sure I'm clear. I've never worried with our leadership. We might get some, we might go through downfalls. We might we might go through some growing pains. But I I I I'm fully optimistic on the direction we're going with the, with the program. Max, you got anything for everybody? No, nah, just uh tune in on Tuesday to the the show with with my new my new co-host Big Mac Extra Cheese. It's one of the best names out there, dog. And I'm like tolerant. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, I love y'all, man. Go find someone you love, give him a big hug and a kiss cuz life is short and as always